so I decided I'm going to try something new just for fun and I thought I would take some of the comments I get um, or questions or whatever and answer them occasionally in a video because I've seen other people do it on YouTube and it's kind of fun to watch so I thought I'd give it a try. But for this first um, video I'm going to respond to some of the comments that I got last week on my video about Donald Trump which I'm not really a Donald Trump fan and although I don't hate the man I don't understand why so many people are you know gung-ho about him being president possibly so that was kind of my stance was I just don't understand why people would think he would make a good president so here's some of the responses that I got and the ones I'm sharing um, are some of them are kind of offensive and I, I think they're funny, but they're also kind of rude and, you know, just unpleasant in some ways, too. So, uh, the first one I will go with, and all of these were from people who disagreed with me, because the comments from people who agreed with me obviously weren't that interesting, you know, because all they pretty much said was, I agree, or something like that. So, anyway, Andrew Rose commented that Donald Trump would be a great president, I believe he would not take any crap from anybody. And I started off with a pretty tame one. So him, I actually appreciate the fact that even though I disagree with him, obviously, about Donald Trump, I like the fact that he was polite in the way he responded. He wasn't, like, insulting or hateful or anything. And I, I actually like people who don't take crap from anybody, too. But I don't think that necessarily makes everyone who has that personality a great presidential candidate. So, um, on to the next one, which this one, this comment comes from Fuck the System 70 and this person just commented, fucking liberals, Trump 2016. And my thought was, well, that's polite, that's nice, that's a great way to, uh, respond to something and try to get somebody to possibly consider your point of view. And then the next one I'm going to share is from Thoughtly and it says, main thing is that you breed outside your race to prove you're not racist and become a single mom screaming in Walmart with your drug dealing kids all on grants from Amnesty International so that they can become professors of mixed race studies and devote their lives to hating white people. And hurry up and get some tattoos and some rings in your nose and dreadlocks. And be sure to morph into a lesbian. That's vital. Okay, this dude, like, he's really angry. And I don't understand this level of anger just because I don't happen to like Donald Trump for president. But what's even funnier is I don't know what liberals he's known that he thinks that's an accurate representation of everybody who's liberal. In fact, I hate to say it, but I mean, I've lived in places that were really conservative and then places that were kind of, I guess, moderate. And the people who most fit the description he gave were the more conservative people in general. And I hate saying that because, you know, I don't like to take a stereotype and apply it to anybody. But if I was going to apply that stereotype, which I disagree with, then, like I said, there's more people I can think of that, you know, were just popping out babies and um, not doing anything with their lives that, you know, I, I've never known personally liberals who really do that. In fact, most of the people that I know who maybe live like that, I don't think they really care that much about politics. They're too busy, like, doing their drugs or whatever. And I'm not sure about morphing into a lesbian, but I can guarantee you that's not going to happen. I'm not attracted to women, so, you know, if that was a prerequisite for being a liberal, I would not meet it. And then the next comment is from Jackpot777. And the first time he commented... I'm not going to read the whole thing, but he wasn't really that harsh. Um, I mean, he kind of accused me of, like, you know, being brainwashed by the liberals and stuff like that. But some of the things he said, you know, I can understand to an extent where he's coming from. 
And he made it clear he hates socialism. And I will admit that some sometimes um, socialistic ideas, depending on how they're designed and implemented, can be bad. But there are, have also been nations who have applied socialistic ideas in positive ways. So it really depends on how you do it. I don't think socialism itself is a bad thing. And I did comment to him telling him that personally, I don't think socialism itself is this evil thing some people make out to be any more than I think capitalism is this evil thing that people make it out to be. But when you have people who are corrupt and greedy or just, um, you know, people who are irresponsible running things, then even if you have good ideas, they're not really going to work out well. So, and I even commented and told him some countries that are considered socialist or at least have really socialistic um, ideas and programs. And I, I made sure to list the ones that, you know, had done pretty well, especially those in Europe and, you know, like, I know Canada is somewhat considered um, that way and New Zealand. And I mean, the list kind of goes on and on about modern ones that have at least some socialistic ideas and practices. But what he responded to my response, kind of like, I don't know, it made me sad, kind of. What he wrote back was, um, you are, and it's worse than I thought, which he was referring to the fact that I was brainwashed by liberals. Because I told him I didn't really think I was brainwashed by liberals since I grew up in a family and in an area that was mostly conservative and on my own, my view started to change over time. And in fact, I've gotten pressure to, you know, go back to the way I was. So it's not necessarily like I was being brainwashed or trying to be peer pressured to be a liberal. In fact, it was actually the opposite. And then he goes on to say, since when is public education better than private? Well, I'll respond to that. Um, private education probably is better than public education in a lot of ways. But public education is all that many, many, many people in this country could afford. They could not have any education if there was not public education. So when I said that public education was a good socialistic idea that we had benefited from in our own country, I didn't mean that public education was without fault or it didn't have its problems. But any education, in my opinion, is better than no education. Unless it's just flat out brainwashing, which, you know, I know a lot of people have issues with our public school system, and I have issues with some of them too, especially the way they emphasize teaching the test nowadays. But they're certainly still better, in my view, than no education. And then the next comment he made, like, this one really kind of upset me. And he said, also, those countries suck. Talking about the countries that I had listed that, um, used some socialistic policies in a positive way. And like I said, I had listed Canada, New Zealand, um, the Netherlands, Finland, you know, all those kind of European countries that are thought of as really progressive. And then he wrote, our Salvation Army can kick their ass. And it's like, this is mean and uncalled for. And I, I never have understood this idea that, you know, America is so much better than every other country. And he goes on to say, please think bigger. Americans are exceptional, most of us. And I think the most of us is probably kind of a dig at me saying that maybe I'm not exceptional because I disagree or something. But anyway, what really frustrated me about what he had to say about that was just it is the American exceptionalism kind of mentality that, you know, America is always in the right. America is the greatest country in the world. You know, America counts more than all the other countries or, you know, the view that some Christians have that, you know, America is God's country, just like, you know, like some people believe that Israel is God's country. And I'm going to be frank, in my opinion, there is no such thing as God's country. I mean, God, if such a being exists, made all of us. And in my estimation, 
probably loves and cares about all of us equally. And I don't think there's anything wrong with taking pride in your country. But I do think that it really kind of gets out of hand when you think your country is better than every other country or you think your country deserves better than all the rest of the people in the world or that they have the right to take whatever they want. And I'm not saying necessarily that he feels that way, but a little bit kind of felt that way. And then the last comment um, came from Justin Cameron. And this guy actually commented several times. And this first comment is the one I really took offense to. Um, the other comments he put, he was just sharing stuff to try to get me to change my viewpoint. And the thing he didn't seem to understand was, I am not saying illegal immigration is not an issue. I am saying I don't particularly think Donald Trump is the answer to all of our problems. But I do agree that illegal immigration is an issue, and especially when you consider the drug cartels and things like that. But I also believe strongly that just because some of the people who sneak into this country are doing evil and hurting people, that it's not fair to say that all of them are horrible people. Because they're not. Some are sneaking in to do illegal activity, there's no doubt about that, but many are sneaking in to try to run away from a life that is really going to kill them, you know, if they don't escape it. So that is my problem with that. And some of the stories he shared, they were heartbreaking, and um, I would never say that, you know, there are not issues with illegal immigration. I would have to be stupid to say that that's not a big issue. But anyway, the comment he said that really kind of irritated me was, next time you should do your hair and put on some makeup and get rid of the glasses. You might get some more views. Leave the politics to the men. Maybe do a video about your favorite cleaning products next time. Maybe it's just me, but that seems really sexist. And I just don't like that kind of attitude. I mean, personally, I can dress however I want. I can present myself however I want. I don't have to meet some, you know, idealistic standard of beauty. And honestly, I don't do these videos because I want guys to look at me and comment and say, oh, you're hot and I think you look great or whatever. That's not why I make these videos. And honestly, if I just wanted people to think I'm hot or to lust after me or whatever, you know, I do entirely different kinds of videos, so that's just silly to me, and it's kind of demeaning. It makes it sound like, you know, the only thing that matters about women is their looks, and that kind of attitude just really annoys me. And the leave the politics to the men, uh, yeah, that's a little sexist, and I know that a lot of women aren't interested in politics, and I you know, that's fine. Not everybody is interested. I know guys who aren't interested in politics. But you have to look at people as individuals and not say just because you're a woman, you can't be interested in politics. And uh, as for the video about my favorite cleaning products, that's unlikely to happen. Um, in my house, where I've been married to a wonderful man for, let's see, a little over 12 years, we uh we share chores we don't i don't do it all i'm not the nice little classic housewife who has to clean the house and take care of the kids although we don't have kids and you know do everything he uh cleans just as much as i do and i don't personally have favorite cleaning products anyway so anyway that's uh me responding to some of the donald trump comments and i did want to say to uh, Jackpot777, because he recommended I listen to a Donald Trump speech that was given in Phoenix. And when I saw it was like over an hour long, I it took me a while to get to watch it, but I did finally watch it. And I will admit that, you know, he had some decent talking points, and he even came off a little more um, kind of humorous rather than just outright arrogant in this speech and I mean I like I said I don't hate Donald Trump I just don't 
really agree that he's the best thing for our country. And so I, I still, after watching the speech, I still feel that way. I mean, I will say that, you know, it was heartbreaking to hear the guy speak about um, his child who was killed by an illegal immigrant. But again, that doesn't mean that all illegal immigrants are horrible, villainous people. And also, unfortunately, sometimes we use emotional issues like that to kind of play on people's emotions. And it's kind of funny because people always say the liberals are the touchy-feely emotional people, but that's not always true. Both sides will use things to get the feeling that they want to get from those who they're speaking to. So, like I said, I did watch it, and, I mean, it was interesting, and, um, I mean, there were parts of it that I didn't necessarily disagree with, but again... Even as he was talking about some of the things he believed, in my mind I was going, well, how do you expect to do that? I mean, it's not like if you become president, you can be a dictator and just, you know, I guess you could try to do everything by executive order or whatever, but um, that's what everybody's been fussing about Obama doing. So I don't know why, if you think that's such a bad thing, why you would want somebody to do that. And I just, I just don't think that Donald Trump, I think he has these, he, he wants things that a lot of people in this country want. And I understand why they want it. But you have to understand just because somebody says, I will do this and this and this and this and this, it doesn't mean they'll actually get it done. And right as of now, I don't have the faith that he will get the things done that he is promising. And I could be wrong. I mean, I, I will admit I'm, you know, I don't know everything. But personally, I just, I'm not convinced yet. So I'll just leave it like that. But anyway, thank you for all of you who watch my videos and have commented. And even these people who commented, even though some of the things you said weren't the nicest. And um, they did kind of make me laugh in some ways, though. And so... I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, like I said, I hope to maybe do more of these type of videos in the future, so feel free to comment on any of my videos, and maybe your comment will get chosen, and you can even ask questions. I'll answer questions. Like, I don't care what you ask me as long as, like, I mean, I'll tell you if it's too personal, but anything you ask, I'll be willing to at least consider. So I appreciate you watching, and I'll see y'all later. So bye.